What's going on YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 5 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also guys, I stream on Twitch 4 days a week, so check me out over there at Genius25 so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So guys, in the last episode, we actually finished up our second dungeon, which was the Bottle Grotto. And we actually obtained the Power Bracelet and... Our second instrument, the conch one. The power bracelet actually lets us lift up heavy items. So we're just going to be moving along here over here. But we actually have a lot of things to do in this episode. A lot of side quests and I have planned and everything. We got a decent amount to do, so we're going to get working on it. We got these little new enemies over here. We got these uh, spear mob ones, I think. And look at them. They're pretty cool over here. They yeet oh, and chain chomp over here is just yeet on people. Well, we actually have to take chain chomp back home. But if we come over here, we can actually lift up this rock right here. It says, oh, there's a strange energy coming from here. You should take a closer look. So if we actually hop on here, we just start spinning around. And we actually fly up in the air. And we come straight back down, which really does nothing for us. These are actually warp points, but we can't warp anywhere with only one. We need multiple to start doing things. We're actually going to make our way over here real quick. Lift up these rocks. We got this crow staring us down. Like, what you want, crow? Yo, change up. Relax. We're going to head into here. This little hut right here. We got this little uh, girl with all these love hearts and everything. Her name is Tracy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. Ooh. I guess so. That's a little expensive. All right, come here. I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Okay. We, they were already full, but... What she gives us is this medicine right here that we actually don't really know what it does. If you actually go into your inventory, it's just chilling right here at the bottom. It's a secret me medicine. Tracy's special medicine. Guaranteed to start your... To kickstart your heart. So, what I believe it does, I'm not too sure yet, is when you die, it acts as a fairy and just, like, kickstarts you up again. But we're actually going to make our way back towards the mysterious forest so we can start taking Mr. Bow Wow back home. Oh, my lord, he's eating on these fools. Get him. Yeah. Yeah, here, we got these little sticker guys. Oh, yes, Bow Wow. Yes, Bow Wow. No, they got me again. <laughs> Help me, Bow Wow. Help me out. Well, we make our way down to this little prairie right here. We can actually start whooping on this guy. But we got this rock right here. We can give it a nice little lift up. And we got a secret little staircase under here. Come on, Bow Wow. This way. So down in the staircase, we got this like little like weird like, I don't even know, like scary little thing. But if we use our magic powder, we can light this little thing. Purple flame comes up. And look at this boy. This is the little devil. Hey, kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. Hee hee. Are you ready? Um, so you can actually use this to get more mag ma magic powder. Like, you can hold more. But we're just going to say no. Because there's a little thing going on. Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs. Hee hee hee. Now that sounds a li little bit better. So, are you ready? Yes. So he thinks it's bad that we get to carry more items because it's like worse for us, but we actually would rather do that. He he he, you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha, take care. See you again. So with that, we actually skipped out on getting the magic powder upgrading, went for the bomb upgrade, but we don't have bombs yet, but we are actually going to be doing that in this episode. This guy respawns right here. Start eating on him. Oh, get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. Now we're going to head back into this little log, because as you remember, was it the first episode? I believe it was the first episode. We were actually over here, and there was a piece of heart chilling right over here, but we didn't have anything to lift up the big stones. But now that we have the power bracelet, we can actually do this. Yes! So what we want to do here is do a quick push here, push there, do this one again. Now we can pick up these skulls and start hucking them all over the place and grab ourselves another piece of heart. But guys, we have so much planned for this episode. We're going to be getting seashells and all these uh, pieces of hearts and all these collectibles doing some side missions. So we got a lot to do. We're going to keep grinding out here. Let's keep going, Bow Wow. Let's go. We got to take Bow Wow home still. He's been uh, on our back for a little bit now. <laughs> now that we make it out of that little thing, we're going to get, whip it on this fool. Get out of here. I believe we make our way this way. We start whapping on these fools. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We can make our way down here, pick up this rock, <laughs> hit the little chew right in the face with it. We can grab ourselves this guardian acorn, rip on these fools real quick, and open up this chest, which has another secret seashell. But what do you do with it, it says? Well, we're actually going to be doing that in this episode, too. We're going to be showing you guys what the seashells actually do. But now we can actually make our way outside the mysterious forest and take my boy Bow Wow home. Come on, buddy. Come on. We got a lot to do. We got a lot. 
Back to Mabe Village. Down here, we're gonna go talk to Madam Meow Meow. Return to precious little Bow Wow right here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Madam Meow Meow says, Ho ho ho! I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know! Smooch! <laughs> you got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. Dot dot dot. L lucky? <laughs> so, our reward is really like... She just gives us a smooch, so <laughs> I think I think it was just like part of the main mission to help us like move along But there we go. We saved it. We got a nice smooch from Madam Meow Meow. Lucky us But we're just gonna get moving on actually over here to the back to the crane shop But before we do that, I want to Tear up this grass right here collect rupees because we are going to need a ton Because after we head to the crane, we're gonna head up to that shop and buy a few items right here Well, let's try to get some at least the ones help out a little bit I'm just gonna keep chopping it up. Look at it. Yeah, boy, get out of my face. Look at the little octorox, dude. They're funny. They're like the little octopuses that shoot rocks at us. But now we're gonna head back to the trendy game shop right here, the little claw machine. And we actually want two items. We're gonna go for that seashell and that little Goomba figurine right there. Come on, latch it up. Oh, pretty nice grab. That's a wonderful grab. You kidding me? What the heck? That was a good grab. <laughs> Come on, come on, that's money grab. If this doesn't get it, this game is broken. That's a money grab. It's a money grab. Get over here, Seashell. Money grab, money grab, let's go. So now we got that Seashell, we just wanna get one more thing, we gotta get that Goompa figurine right there. All right, let's get it. All right, we're gonna start moving it all the way over right here. Come on, get it, come on. Oh, what a grab. No way! It went away! <laughs> Alright, we got it this time. We got it this time, ladies and gentlemen. We got to time this just right. I think once it's on that left side, we're gonna we're gonna start sending it. We're going now. We're going now. Come on! Get in there! Oh! Come on, pick it up! Pick it up! Oh! Oh my god, that was such a good grab! Come on, don't fall out! Are you kidding me? Let's go! Let's get it, baby! That was a nice grab. All right, actually, I'm gonna play one more. I wanna grab that 50 rupee right there. Hopefully, we can grab that thing and actually get some extra rupees up in here. Grab it. Grab this 50 rupee. I think we need like 200 something, so I'm gonna start grinding out some rupees here. Come on, get it. Get it, baby. That's money. That's chilling in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And guys, even if you don't have enough rupees to do this, you can actually, like, grab the 50 rupee, walk back out, and then walk back in. It will respawn, and then you'll be fine. So we're going to grab these items and then start heading on to the shop. Yes, 50 rupees. Perfect. Got this Goomba figure. Let's go. We got to place that on a pedestal just like the, uh, the Chow Chow one. And then we grab ourselves our third secret seashell. There we go. Now we can start heading over to the shop. Let's get it, baby. Making our way out of the trendy game little building. We're going to start making our way up this way towards the shop because we actually have to buy a couple items real quick. And this is actually our first time in here on video. So we, you guys are going to get to see it. This is the town tool shop. We can actually buy items. Like, look at this. We got a shield right here. We got bombs. We got piece of heart but what we came here is for this deluxe shovel and these bombs so you can actually come up here talk to the shopkeeper be like yeah i want to buy it give him my rupees and bang dude we just wasted everything we ever worked for man <laughs> for this little shovel but this is actually going to come in handy for us a lot so we're actually going to grab bombs too we're going to grab these boys we're going to buy them yeah give them to me give them to me wait what do you say no no okay we can just constantly buy bombs so now we got bombs and we got this shovel so we're actually going to just go uh there we go, that way. In this order, we're gonna have that Rock's Feather up on X, because that is just such a good item, and like, probably one of my most used ones, and, and the shovel we'll start using a lot too. But now we got the bombs too, and we're actually gonna start heading back and doing a little side questing. You guys will see in a second. So we're gonna head back to Tonobo Shores right here. Tonobo, Tonobo, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna start making our way back over this way. Use a Rock's Feather, just take a little shortcut. And head back down to the first dungeon. Because, as you guys do recall, there was a bombable wall. I actually marked it on my map. Well, you can't see it because you can only see it in the dungeon. I actually marked it in the dungeon map for us to come back and get it because we have something valuable. So, if you look at the map, it's right up here. So, we got to go up here, left, and then forward. Get out of my face, little boy. 
Now, see, that's what I love about this game. You gotta come back and grab some items and everything. But look, look, there it is, right to the left. Right here, we got this bombable wall right here. So we're gonna switch out our bombs right here. Lift that and throw it over there. Bang, open up that wall right there. And we can actually head inside and grab this chest that we couldn't get in the beginning. And what's inside it? We got ourselves another secret seashell, which is just awesome. It's just dandy for us. So now we're actually gonna head back outside of this place and actually get moving on with the missions. And we fell through that hole. <laughs> now that we make our way back outside of Tails Cave, there's actually that hut right there. That is actually where we want to head right now. Because there's something that we need. And we can start like finishing up that quest. We're actually gonna keep moving along with the trading side quests from there. Because that's our next thing. That guy wants that can of dog food. That's the last thing we traded. So we're going to go over there and give him to him. And he's going to give us something in return there. But get out of here, Octorox. Just whooping on him right now. Head inside this little hut. And this character is awesome. I think this guy is so cool. Look at him. He's a crocodile with a hat on. His name's Sal. What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man. Give it to me, please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get that can. And now we give it to him. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Watch this. Look at him. Yeets it up in the air and starts chomping on it. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> He's hilarious. Munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. There we go. We get bananas to keep moving along with this trade side quest. But now we're going to actually head back to Mabe Village and keep moving along with all these little quests that we've been doing. Now that we made it back to Mabe Village, we're actually going to head back to our original house right here that we woke up with, with all the people and everything. So, as you can tell, we got that Goompa little figurine in the trendy game shop, and here's actually the stand for it. Is this the stand for something? It says Goompa. Place the Goompa figurine here? Heck yeah! There we go, we placed it there, we're done with that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> now we can make our way back out here and actually start moving along with these other quests I want to do in this video. We're gonna come over this way, and now that we can lift rocks, we can actually open up the path right here to the prairie. Like we said, after the Kapanga Swamp, they wanted us to head to the prairie. But we can actually head inside this little rock little area right here, this little cave. We can start whooping on these fools, actually start gra- Oh! It's this dude's problem. Which way do we want to go? We actually want to go this way. We're gonna skirt up here this way and push that down. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna push this, run this way. Now we can lift this rock. Ah! Get off of me, little punks. We can open up this little pathway and grab ourselves this chest and what's inside of it? Yes, another good 50 rupees because we just spent all of our rupees, so we're going to start needing some more. And we got to figure out how to get through here. Okay, here we go, guys. I actually figured it out. You actually just push that rock there, push that rock here, pick up this one, slam it away, and boom, we can grab ourselves this piece of heart, which is another one that we grabbed in this episode. Did we... Is that seven now? Would that give us our full heart now? It did. We got another full heart container. Now we are up to seven heart containers, which is just awesome. So the next thing we want to do is actually pretty valuable in this game. We got this little, like, stand here, which resembles the other fast travel point that we unlocked earlier in this episode. Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. So now we can actually step on these things and actually fast travel from one another. So that is pretty awesome. But now, with that done, we don't have to fast travel anywhere. We're just going to keep making our way this way. No, actually, we want to head down this way. This is the way we want to go. What are you doing, Jeans? You're going the wrong way, buddy. You're going the wrong way. But as you can see, there is the next dungeon on the prairie right there. But we cannot get it without a key. So we're going to need to get a key. But if we actually make our way down here to Pothole Field right here, we can actually just keep traveling along. There should be a house down here. Yes, sir. Look at it. There it is right there, baby. You can actually head inside there and get a big quest for us to start this main mission so you make your way in here we talk to this guy and his name is Richard salutations you wouldn't know by the look of me but I used to live in the castle my servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my villa so you're looking for something are you I may have just what you're after but first I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind at the castle when I fled all right we'll do it smashing to tell you the truth there are five leaves and I want all of them. Okay, you'll need to do some digging. So buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. So there we go. We already bought the shovel and all that. So we can actually start making our way to the castle. And go find those golden leaves for us. So in order to get to the castle, we can come over here. Look at this little sign. And it tells us the castle's right this way. Just walk up this way. Which is wonderful. Just dandy. And as you can tell, there's a little piece of heart right there. I'm actually going to mark it on my map. Oh, look at this. We're opening up some stuff on our map. So I can mark this heart on our map. To remind me to come back and get it later. 
We're gonna start making our way this way, and we can see some new cool enemies. Like, look, we got these Octoroks, we got these little flying mushroom dudes. Flying Octoroks with wings on. Oh my lord, he drops bombs! I didn't know that! We can whoop on this guy. Actually, come down here, bring out our bombs. Drop one there. Blow this up, because we got something nice right here. We can just bring out our shovel and grab ourselves another secret seashell. This is awesome, dude. That's a good, nice little spot for one. But, we can actually get moving back this way. Actually, which way do I want to go? This way? Let's see, let's see. Now we actually want to head back. We want to head back. Check our map. Always comes in handy. We're actually going to switch out with Rock's Feather back on X. Yo, this guy keeps dropping bombs! Get out of my face! Leave me alone, everybody! Leave me alone! Now we can actually make our way. Wait, is there something down here? No, we're not going to head down there right now. We're just going to get whapping on these fools. Look at these new enemies. We got these spiders and then these little, like, caterpillar looking things. But we can actually head to the castle. But the door's shut. So how are we going to make our way in there? Luckily, we obtained bananas earlier, and we got a monkey over here. <laughs> so you can actually talk to the monkey right here. And he says, bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh, give to Kiki. His name's Kiki the monkey. Bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh, Kiki, monkeys, come, repay him, Kiki. <laughs> so we give him bananas, and look at what our boy does. He calls the monkey crew out. They start doing some work. They become builders and all that. I don't know how. But I guess they went to like trade school or something and build ourselves a bridge. <laughs> Which is awesome. This is just awesome. Monkey business done. Bye bye. Ooh, Kiki. No bang. And he leaves us a stick to continue on with the trading side quest. So this trading side quest actually comes in handy with us for a while throughout the game. But we can actually start making our way into the castle and start finding all five of the golden leaves that Richard wanted. So if we just keep making our way back here, there's actually just a little grass thing. And opens up a staircase in order for us to get inside the walls of the castle, which is just dandy. Just dandy. We can head down here. Hop on these fools. Look at that double hop. Bang, baby. Oh, we should have grabbed those hearts, actually. But it's okay. We're grooving along here. Hop up here. Climb up the ladder. Make our way inside the walls here. But yeah, look at us. We're grooving along here. We got these new enemies. They're like stronger knights who throw spears faster. But we still womp on them. What you want, fool? Beat on this fool. And there's a crow in this tree right here. Okay, how do we get him down? How do we get him down? Do we need a bomb or something? Or do we jump? Let's, let's drop a bomb. But we need to get this crow down. See, he actually has something for us. See, you drop a bomb there, opens him up, and then we start whooping on him. And he drops the first golden leaf of five that we need. Let's go. You found a golden leaf. Let's get it, baby. They're such cool looking things. So now we can actually start making our way around to the other side of the castle, right over here. We got these swords guys again. Get out of my face. What you want? What you want, fool? We're gonna grab this. And we got this little guy right here. It's like whack-a-mole right here. He's gonna come out here, start throwing bombs at us. We gotta hit him one at a time every time he pops out. You can only hit him once. What you want? Oh, what are we trying to dodge us? Get out of here. What you want, fool? You over here now? Get out of here, boy. I think one more hit should do the trick. Yes, it does. Oh, we fall through the hole. But it's all right. He drops the second golden leaf that we need. You found a golden leaf! Again! <laughs> so now we keep making our way over towards the front of the castle. Get out of here. We gotta fight all these dudes. Get out of my face, yo! We reckon on you fools. We reckon on you guys. And we can actually make our way into the castle this way. Which is just dandy, isn't it, everybody? Just dandy. Now we make our way into this cool castle. Look how cool it is. It's such a cool looking castle, too. We gotta block these spears on this fool. Get whopping on them. Destroy these little chews and whoop on all these enemies right in this front room and this will actually unlock us the third golden leaf Which is great once again, so we got two more golden leaves to go So we're just gonna keep making our way through the castle and we'll probably find them up there So there we go Follow this carpet. We got these knights again. Oh, dude. We just switched the uh, Rooms and I just get murked block him Get out of my face, dude What you want? Yo, this guy's back here just hucking spears. Get out my face! My lord, these guys are annoying me. <laughs> but if we make our way over here, we got these other enemies here again. We're gonna rip on them. Block with our sword and shield and all that. And we can hit this switch, which actually opens up the front gate and makes us, and well, grants us easier access throughout this game and the castle. Which is just dandy once again. <laughs> and we can make our way up the stairs and look for the next two golden leaves. So we make our way down here. We got these bombable walls. We're actually gonna drop one. Oh, what's this thing doing? So what comes out of here? We got a knight! 
We're actually low on hearts, aren't we? Get out of here. Drop me a heart. Drop me a heart. Thank you. <laughs> we actually take out our other bomb and bomb this wall right here, too. And boom, this one will come out. We got another enemy. Gonna have to beat on him. Gotta wait for him to stab us and bang. Once you take out the one on the left side, you get yourselves the fourth golden leaf. Now we just need- Ah! Dang it, we were taking some hearts, but we got fairy in a bottle and all that. And we got that medicine that we got, too. But we need one more golden leaf, and we gotta figure out our way to it. So we're just gonna keep following the path. It's pretty straightforward. There's no, like, little tricks here. So once we follow the path... Actually make our way outside here, and we, we can actually go back inside the castle on this side. And as you can see, there's pot on the door. Only way to open the door is by throwing a pot on it. And now we gotta reverse this guy. So we gotta dodge all of his attacks. He's gonna spin really quick. If we just keep running around, he'll miss. And then we can get a few shots and Oh, he whacked us with that thing. Ah, he beat us with that too. Get out of my face. What you want? We're actually gonna use our fairy here. We're going to use our fairy here. We are at half a heart. We're gonna use our fairy here. Look at this. Just Danny back to full hearts, which is nice. We actually haven't died in this playthrough yet. I'm trying to keep it that way. Come on, get out of my face. Dodge that. Oh, actually, what I want to do is actually I should bring out Rock's Feather. Because we could probably jump over all this stuff. See, look at that. We can just jump over and dodge some stuff. Oh, he beat he's beating us. Get out of here. We finally finished him off after he was doing work on us and grabbed the fifth and final golden leaf. Yes, now you can go see Richard about the reward. So that's where we are actually going to go. We are actually going to go start heading back to Richard right now. And start showing him that we got the golden leaf. But there's actually, I think there's a little side quest that, well not side quest, some other thing we could do. I told you guys, we have a lot to do in this episode that I wanted to get done before we head to the next dungeon. So we're actually going to start heading this way. And actually, hey, yo, get out of my face! We're going to head this way, start making our way over here. We got these spear piggies again. Blocking all their shots and everything. Start ripping on them. Get out of my face, yo. There's so many. Get out of here. Look at all of them. There's a ton of them. Oh, my lord. Get out of here. Well, we can actually start making our way over here. And there's this little, like, seashell hut right here. And this is actually what you can do with the seashells. But there's actually another seashell right next to it. <laughs> we found ourselves another secret seashell, which is just dandy. But we can bring out our, uh... Shovel once again dig up. Oh missed it dig up this little point and here's another fast travel point to the seashell mansion So this is the seashell mansion and this is what we need the seashells for that we get rewards for collecting certain some certain amount I'm the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone who can overcome the darkness find the secret shells Then ascend the platform you will receive the ultimate sword. So as you can see Oh wait so, sounds like no, I'm not even gonna read it But as you can see there's like five different shell things right there and each time we level it up We get a reward, but we actually have enough seashells to pass the first one and get our first reward for the seashells And what is it? It's just a present box. So it's Christmas here. Just kidding We can actually open it up and bang yo. We get ourselves another piece of heart We've been collected a ton of them in this episode, which is just great But we're actually gonna head back out and start going back to King Richard to actually Wait, to actually uh, do this mission, but we got this piece of power too, and we can actually just whoop on these enemies real quick. What you want, fool? What you want? You're actually gonna oh, shooting rocks at me, dude! Get out of my face! Look at this. I love getting the piece of power because you actually get like the speed boost too. Dude, this guy drops bombs. I'm not trying to deal with him. <laughs> oh my god, he almost sniped us. But with all that done, we can head back to Richard, back to the hut at Pothole Field. And talk to him and get our reward for claiming all five of the golden leaves. But yo, these side missions are actually really fun. I was having a good time with them. There was just a lot for us to do in this episode that I want to get done. But we can talk to Richard right here. And he does a little like blowing thing. Richard, ah, Trace Bien, I see you've recovered all the leaves. Now move this statue and you will find your reward. Now, there we go. Move this giant frog, Kermit the Frog statue. And bang, leads us to a secret stairwell. We can actually head down here. Whoop on this little chew right here. Get out of here. Push this rock over here. We got a chest right here. Yee! Get out of here, chew. Open up this chest. And once again, we grab ourselves another secret seashell. So we are just racking them in this episode. Secret seashells, figurines, and pieces of hearts. Just all ours today. We killing it. We killing it. But now, we can actually move forward here and claim the main reward that we came here for. We're gonna head over here. What is down here? What's this thing for right here? Does this do anything? Oh! What is that? 
Oh my lord! That was like a new spider enemy. That was cool though. We can grab our, this guardian acorn and actually boost our speed up for just a little bit, which will be nice. We can actually get run here. But after we make it out of here, we make it into the pothole field. And as you can tell, there's a bunch of potholes here. So we actually have to swing our sword to actually figure out the path. <gasps> Whoa, no! <laughs> That's fine. We're going to hop over here. Actually, we cannot hop over here. This is crazy. Okay, we can hop over this path. Ah, no! <laughs> That's why it's called pothole field. No! We <laughs> keep falling down these things. There we go. Hop this way. We can actually make it away. Can we get this piece of heart? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, we cannot get this yet. We cannot get that yet. I guess we're going to need another item. I thought maybe we can hop over there, but there are multiple potholes just, like, covering that up. So we actually come over here. We can actually check this beak, and it says, In soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. So beneath our souls is right here on our feet. We can actually shovel up and get ourselves the slime key. You can now open the gate in the Yuku Prairie. So that is the gate right over there, which is just awesome. But we can actually lift this rock now, throw it, hop over here, and we can actually unlock this gate, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. This will be our third dungeon, but we will actually not be taking it on in this episode. But it's fine. We did so much in this episode. There's actually one last thing I want to do. Just one last thing, guys. I know, I know. I'm doing a lot. But we got to get this stuff done. But which way do I want to go? I actually want to head this way to make it to the main entrance of the dungeon right here. We can actually just start chomping through all these uh, leaves and stuff. And start running over here onto the other side towards the entrance. Oh, my God. What did we collect in this episode? We collect tons of pieces of art. Bunch of shells, a figurine, we got the new key, we're unlocking the dungeon, and there's still one more thing I want to get. So we actually have to hop our way over this water, because we cannot swim, and make our way up here, and swamp on these little boys. We don't even have to swamp on them, but you come right here, you can actually, can I dig right here? Where are we digging at? Come on, dig! There we go, dig right in the middle there, and grab ourselves this secret seashell, which is just dandy. Woo! Woo, that was a lot, guys. But that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on our third dungeon right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.